President Trump rejoined First Lady Melania Trump for Easter weekend in Florida, with CNN reporting that the two were spotted sitting at a two-top together Thursday night at Mar-a-Lago. This was the first time the president was in the First Lady's company since before the 60 Minutes episode with porn star Stormy Daniels aired, in which he claimed to have had with a married Trump in 2006. The couple was seen just briefly spending time together, as the president went on to have dinner with boxing promoter Don King, who had campaigned for Trump in 2016. On Good Friday, Melania Trump wasn't seen by the press at all, while Trump spent time at his nearby Trump International Golf Club. He likely golfed, but pool reporters never caught a glimpse of the president throughout the day. Trump was seen giving a double thumbs up from his motorcade as he traveled back to Mar-a-Lago Friday afternoon. The motorcade zoomed right by an impeachment now sign. Scroll down for video upon his return to the Winter White House the president tweeted a video of himself delivering a Passover and Easter greeting. My fellow Americans, at this holy time of the year families across our nation gather in homes, churches and synagogues to light candles and to praise God, Trump said. The president then referenced the stories of both Passover and Easter before adding, Both of these sacred celebrations remind us that God's love redeems the world. In America we look to the light of God to guide our steps. We trust in the power of the Almighty for wisdom and strength and we praise our Heavenly Father for the blessings of freedom and the gift of eternal life. Happy Passover! Happy Easter! Trump said. First Lady Melania Trump spread her own bit of Easter cheer, when she made an unannounced visit to the Palm Beach Children's Hospital on Thursday, meeting with patients and their families. Reporters weren't informed of her trip to the St. Mary's Medical Center campus until after the fact, with her spokeswoman Stephanie Grisham confirming it in a tweet. Flood has just finished a surprise visit to its St. Mary's MC to deliver hashtag Easter baskets and spend time w some of their brave patients. Wishing everyone a happy and healthy holiday weekend, Grisham wrote. Later Thursday, the First Lady tweeted about the visit, and included some pictures. Enjoy my visit to its St. Mary's MC today. So great to spend time with some of their brave patients and hard-working doctors and nurses, Mrs. Trump said. She and the President had been apart all week. While the president returned to Washington Sunday, an hour before the 60 Minutes program featuring porn star Stormy Daniels aired, the first lady has been at Mar-a-Lago all week for spring break. Thursday marked the first day she was seen out publicly. CNN reported that Trump spent approximately 45 minutes with 20 patients, delivering to them Easter tote bags that included bunny stuffed animals, playing cards, coloring books crayons and stickers. She's expected to return to Washington before Monday's Easter egg roll, one of the year's major events that the East Wing puts on. After giving a speech in Ohio Thursday, Trump boarded Air Force One and headed to Mar-a-Lago to be reunited with his wife. When the Wall Street Journal first broke the story of Trump's personal lawyer Michael Cohen paying Daniels $130,000 in hush money weeks before the 2016 election, the First Lady kept her distance canceling a planned trip to Switzerland with her husband. Grisham blamed scheduling issues. Instead, Melania Trump toured the Holocaust Museum in D.C. and then boarded a plan to Florida for a Mar-a-Lago spa day. She returned in advance of her husband's State of the Union address, but took a separate motorcade to Capitol Hill, which was excused as a way that she could spend more time with her guests, as newsworthy Americans are always picked to sit in the First Lady's box. More recently, Melania Trump has engaged in public displays of affection with her husband, including holding hands and sharing a photo of them standing together on the Truman balcony, smiling, in front of D.C.'s early spring snow. But that was all before Daniels went on television and spoke of a one-night stand with the now president, revealing details like they didn't use protection and the flirtation started with a porn star spanking Trump with a magazine that had his face on the cover. While Daniels said the two only had one annual encounter. She also told 60 Minutes Anderson Cooper that Trump wanted it to happen again. Grisham has defended the First Lady on Twitter this week. While I know the media is enjoying speculation and salacious gossip, it'd like to remind people there's a minor child whose name should be kept out of news stories when at all possible, she said.